Hi, I'm Karen Smith. I'm Lotus and Ivy's kindergarten teacher. And you've clicked this button because you are interested in our summer camp for kindergarten students age five through seven. This year I'm offering a rainbow wishes camp. I've always loved rainbows and the opportunity to make things that are beautiful with pretty simple materials is appealing to everybody. So if um, your child comes to this camp, this will give you a taste of what the kindergarten curriculum looks like for the rest of the year. Every day we will sing, we'll do circle, we will have a puppet show that I repeat each day. So that will be one story for this camp. Um, we will make crafts every day. I have a, a little handout that I will give that has at home activities and an at home snack idea and all of them are rainbow related. So, oh my goodness, how much fun your child will have this week, especially if you do some of the extra projects that I have suggested. So I'm going to switch my camera. That's the way I show up close um, work, how I create things. So let's look at the projects that we're going to make in camp this year. All right, we're going to start off by making um, some nature paint. <laughs> That's going to be super fun. This one still looks a little bit wet, but it is not. Um, we're going to use natural things that we find to make paint. So your child might use turmeric, maybe use some spinach ground up. My berries, they have faded a little bit. They were quite purple at, at the very beginning, but I think um, one of these was a blackberry and a strawberry. Kind of grayed out from my original painting that I did. Anyway, I have the, the instructions for you to create the paint ahead of time, and then we're going to use paint brushes, but not your normal kind. We're going to use... Um, leaves outside in the yard or maybe pine needles. We're going to experiment with lots of different things other than a paintbrush to make our nature paint pictures. So that's going to be super fun, probably a little bit messy because kindergarten can be messy some days. Our second day, we're going to tie dye. Oh my goodness, tie dyeing is so fun. And this is just tissue paper, white tissue paper. And so we'll fold it in any number of ways. I folded this little sample one for you so you could see. And we're going to use food coloring to dye, tie dye our paper. And just about any way that they put it together is fine. They can just wrinkle it up. They can fold it any way they like. It does not have to be the way I fold it. And oh my goodness, can you imagine being able to wrap a present with beautiful tie-dye like this, that's going to be super fun. <laughs> That'll be your second day. Our third day, we're going to continue a nature theme, and your child will um, get to use the tie-dye from yesterday to paint some popsicle sticks. I actually paint the sticks yesterday. And on Wednesday, we will assemble this. We'll use a little hot glue. And all of these are items just found outside. I don't think you can see it so well on the red. Items that are found outside that we will stick into this little transparency. I used contact paper, but you could also use packing tape, clear packing tape. We'll make a, a lovely um, sun catcher that they can put in their window. And then, of course, my rainbow twirly gig. This one is just little pieces of paper that we're cutting together and gluing them on with a bead. And it goes up and down um, a wooden skewer, like the kind you would make shish kebabs on or something. I would say my paper is a little thick. It's not nearly as up and down as I would like it to. So instead of using cardstock, which this is, regular construction paper is all you're going to need. So that's super fun. And then our last day, again, another nature theme. This time we're going to make a little dragonfly. And these are just leaves from my yard. 
I blocked out because they are, they dried themselves and look almost as good as they did when they're fresh. And we'll use a collection of beads. Of course, mine are rainbow, but your child's can be any color that they want. And this is just a stick from the yard that was able to fit those little rainbow beads. So they can go outside and run and play with their little dragonfly. So we've got some fun projects that we will be doing this next session. And um, I'm really excited to see what ideas your children come up with as well, because sometimes the ideas that the children have for their projects, they out, outdo mine by a long shot. Um, there's anything else? Oh, get times. The camp is July 17th through the 21st. And I'm actually offering two sessions. The first session, which starts at one o'clock Eastern, is full unless someone drops out that one's full so i opened up a second session and that one is 2 30 to 3 30 eastern so you'll have to calculate your time to see what time that begins for you but i can take 14 students and we'll go on an adventure a rainbow adventure and your child will have plenty of songs and opportunities to share with the group and and it'll give you an idea of what kindergarten might hold for the year ahead. If you've got questions, reach out to Heather and Sarah. They have my email address and I'm happy to, to receive an email from you and answer any questions that you have. And also if, when you register, you'll get all this uh, information with those supplies that you need and links for additional projects and stuff like that. So come play rainbows with me. <laughs> we'll have a fantastic time. I look forward to meeting your child or seeing your child again if they've been in kindergarten or another program with me. Have a lovely day.